At my heaviest, I weighed 260 pounds. I felt lethargic, I felt tired. I couldn't really be bothered doing anything. I got to the point where I was just fed up being stuck in a body I hated, never been able to wear the clothes I wanted to wear. I began to go to the gym and started my journey. I lost £100 in under two years. I began to realise that a female body can be strong, even stronger than some men in the gym. I began to train to become a bodybuilder. Growing up, I came from a family where we ate like larger portions. A lot of my family were overweight, so it was kind of normal to overeat on a daily basis. My weight got to my heaviest when I was around 20, 21, and I was going out drinking and partying and then overeating the next day with a hangover. At my heaviest I weighed 117 kilograms which is 260 pounds. My favourite foods uh, when I was overweight were cheesy pasta, wrestlers burgers like microwave burgers, crisps, chocolate, pick and mix sweets, basically anything high in saturated fat and sugar. <laughs> Eating like that every day and eating that kind of diet, I felt lethargic, I felt tired. I couldn't really be bothered doing anything. All I wanted to do was just sleep and it just made me feel horrific. I got to the point where I was just fed up being stuck in a body I hated. I began to go to the gym and started my journey. I didn't enjoy it at all for literally maybe a couple months, but I just stuck at it. I lost a hundred pounds in under two years. Currently at the moment, I weight train five times a week. Lifting weights made me feel amazing. Um, I began to realize that a female body can be strong, even stronger than some men in the gym. And then it made me realize that if I want to do something, I can go get it. I began looking online, researching bodybuilders, female and male bodybuilders, and I was just amazed that a human body could look that way and you could put muscle and shape onto someone's human frame. I began to train to become a bodybuilder. When I was weightlifting in the gym, I knew that I was naturally a bit stronger than some of the other girls. That motivated me to keep lifting more weights and I started to idolise some professional athletes and really was amazed at how they looked so I knew I just wanted to get up on stage and do it. I've competed in five bodybuilding shows. My highest place was second place in trained figure and I've competed in the British finals. I met my boyfriend Darren through bodybuilding he was actually in the audience at my first ever show. I just remember seeing her on stage and thinking like, wow, she looks amazing. We motivate each other, we're always supporting each other. We have a laugh together all the time. She is my dream woman. Anne Marie's work ethic is something that I've never personally seen. I've worked with hundreds, if not thousands of clients over the years running my personal training business. I've just never seen that kind of work ethic like it. That was one of the main reasons I fell in love with her. I like training with Darren because if one of us is slacking and if one of us is not sticking to our diet, then we'll definitely call each other out. So it keeps us motivated and keeps us both on track. During training, I would say we're both kind of just as in charge, but on leg day, it's definitely me. She's got some of the biggest legs I've ever seen on a female and how strong she is is just ridiculous. So. She's in charge on legs, but I'll, I'll take everything else. <laughs> my long-term goal is to win my first competition and turn professional. I'm proud of my journey and what I've achieved in six years. I feel stronger, empowered, and happy with what I've turned into. Since I've totally changed my body, I feel more confident, and I don't feel like I'm stuck in this body that's not me.